La magnifica costa nedi. The magnificent coastline around Split in Croatia is the setting of the test of a Croatian built inflatable boat Super Rib 30 cabin. It has a length of 9.27 meters and a width of 3.15 meters. But the feature that impressed me most is its deep V at the bow. There are many islands here and it's easy to find a shelter, that is, an area of calm sea even when the wind is strong. But to get from one island to another, it is always better to have an inflatable boat that can sail well even on shallow waters. The hull features a very pronounced chine across the entire side to deflect spray and support the bow over the waves. The foredeck makes us imagine the presence of a cabin, which we will see in a moment. But I especially want to point out this structure that connects the hull to the deck, making the rib more solid. Also, this is a very convenient platform for dock landing, although there is a passageway as well in the bow. The upholstery is well finished, neatly refined. A sunbed for two people could be placed on the bow. The windshield extends the sleek line of the deckhouse and a deflector increases its effectiveness. The pilot seating is split so each person could decide whether to sit or stand. To protect you from the sun, you could have a T-top up here. A sliding door leads to a compartment that can also be used for sleeping on board. In the entrance hallway, there's a cabinet with storage cabinets and shelf. The bathroom can open or separate as you like. In the cockpit, there is a sofa for six people, who sit on the sides can hold to this stylized handrail, while who sit in the center can lean on the backrest. In the quarter deck, you have the possibility of setting up a kitchen. La cala di poppa è molto ordinata, in parte controstampata. The aft locker is neat, partly countermolded, while the lockers are completely so and the cushions are not simply hooked on. There's also a velcro strap. I tubolari non sono semplicemente The tubulars are not simply glued to the saddles, they are also embraced by this fiberglass structure. At the stern, the platform surround the outboards to increase the beach area. Everything you see can be completely changed because Super Rib does not mass produce, but makes a few examples, each intended for a particular owner. You might, for example, even have live wells if you are a fisherman, or have it built completely of carbon if you want to go fast. On the Super Rib 30 cabin, we have two 300 horsepower Yamaha engines. Guardate come i tubolari solchino l'acqua. E questo mi piace perché. Look how the tubulars plow the water. And I like that because it means that the designer, Serdan Dakovic, a well known name, has thought about our comfort. Eh sì, perché in questo modo abbiamo. Yes, because this way we have less rolling and the healing angle is controlled. In the bow, on the other hand, the tubulars move away from the surface, but still, they will help navigation in case there are very formed waves, and the structure there at the bow will always keep us above the waves. We probably won't break a speed record today because this rib is quite heavy, despite being made in vacuum-infused vinyl ester resin. In fact, they built a structure with one floor timber for every meter of length, and the longitudinal frames are very high and connect to the transom. In short, they did not want to have any solidity problems. Ora però immaginate di essere in una situazione di mare molto mosso. 
e avere un gommone come questo con una prua. Now imagine being in a very rough sea situation and having an inflatable like this with a sharp bow and such a high displacement. It will sail like a ferry. That is, it will maintain a more constant trim than a very light boat. Just think that at the stern, the dead rise of the hull is 23 degrees. Here is the effect, a rather noticeable but not at all frightening angle of heel. You never heard of me. At a speed of 20 knots, the total fuel consumption is 40 litres per hour, meaning it takes 2 litres per mile. At 30 knots, we're at 56 litres per hour, less than 2 litres per mile. Lo so, questo non è un gommone fatto per correre. I know this is not a rib made for racing. It is a rib rather designed as a super yacht tender or otherwise for family use. There is also a cabin. It makes me want to push the throttles forward a bit. To hear these two outboards. At 40 knots, I give a little trim. I could have done it even earlier. It is very pleasant to control. There is a slight wave here. We're at 50 knots, but I'm not at full throttle. Now I am. Up the trim. Wow, that is fast. 55 knots. Yes, nice speed, but what about safety? Max, hold on tight. What if at this pace, out of necessity, I have to avoid an obstacle and I have to give full rudder? What a hold. And I'm veering at 50 knots. Well, it was really worth coming to Croatia to admire this landscape and to try Super Rib 30 cabin.